Now, was it always that colorful, that cheerful? No. I remember I went to a party. I was the only black girl. And uh, many of the, uh, my, uh, my girlfriend was Irish, and uh, many of the mothers said, if she don't go, my child can't stay. Well, that's when I learned that not all people are the same, you know, because you hear people put labels on d different groups of, uh, uh, of nationalities that come into, uh, you know, into our community. And my girlfriend's mother stood up and said, no, she's not going no nowhere. She was invited. And, and she was invited to the party. And she's my daughter's only black friend. She's not going, my daughter's not letting her go nowhere. So anyhow, the mothers took their daughters home, and it was only about five of us left. It was about three of her girlfriends this day, and it was me, her. Hey. Cool. We had a blast. I took home so much cake. I got sick. However, it was my first introduction to racism. Now, I was 13 years old. This was my girlfriend's 13th birthday party. And I had a friend later on when I was on the, um, the, um, to rights trail. And my friend said, you mean you didn't know racism until you was 13 years old? And I said, yeah. Oh, please, you ain't got no problem. We don't even want to talk to you. <laughs> because many of them had endured that at very early ages. But I grew up here blushing. I'll tell you another a funny story. When I first moved to Brooklyn, Okay, I moved to Brooklyn. I lived, lived in Brooklyn for about eight years, and then uh, and then I came back when my uh, daughter was twelve. But it was so funny because I leaned on the police car, you know, like this, bent down to talk to the policeman, and the guy did like this, and then you go, and you know what they had their hands on, right? Because they you know couldn't make. And then, the, his, and then his partner said, you're not from around here, are you? I said, no. He said, do you live in Brooklyn? I said, I just moved here. He said, oh, my gosh. He said, I, I knew, I knew it. He said, because they're not friendly like this here. I said, what do you mean? I said, uh, he said, are you friendly with the police officers in, like this? In your community, where you grew? I said, yeah. He said, where are you from? I said, Flushing. He said, Flushing, Queens? I said, yeah. He said, what are you doing all the way over here? I said, well, we got a house over uh, on, um, on um, by Highland Park. And so, you know, I'm taking the train. I'm trying to, usually I go by car, but I have to learn how to use the train over here. So... He said, my goodness. So he couldn't get over it. And he said, are y'all like this in Flushing? I said, yeah, I grew up with them. I said, even the ones you don't like. Come on, you still have respect for them, you know. And I may have to sometimes, even the ones I didn't like, I had to, you know, maybe sometimes ask them how to get somewhere or, um, or, or ask them about a situation, you know. So, you know, those things happen. So they started laughing. They said, oh, we got to tell our commander this one. <laughs> so so that, that just goes to show you how uh, uh, free-spirited, no matter what nationality you were when I was coming up, you still was free-spirited, okay, even with the racism. Everybody had to respect all mothers and fathers no matter what nationality. If, if someone saw you doing something, I don't care if they were Chinese, Korean, I don't care if they were Latino, black, white, purple, if they saw you doing something, they're going to tell you. I'm telling your parent. So you may say, well, you know how most kids are. You don't know my parent. 
oh, I'll find out who your parent is, and they grab you. That was allowed. And they would take you to a, a, to a, to, to a store owner. Do you know this kid? Yeah, because everybody knew everybody's kid, parents. You come into the store, you're going to help your parents out, right? You come into the store, whoops, there you go. Even the kids that used to pick the, uh, grab fruit off the fruit stand, the owners used to say, ah, they'll be back with their parents. <laughs> they won't be able to say no. And then we're going to say, is that your parent? Is this your son? So it happened. So that's the kind of place it was. So a lot of people knew my parents, and so therefore... I didn't like hanging on Main Street too much, go being where I w was. You better get off of here. You know your parents don't want you up here. Now hightail it out of here. You didn't talk back because they were allowed to bop you, okay? And I remember my brother did something, and my friend's dad said, oh, you think you got a whipping from your dad? Well, now I'm going to give you an Italian whipping. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and that's definitely a beat down. So, you know, so it's things like that. So you, you didn't, um, you know, and there's sometimes, sometimes my friends, their parents didn't know English. Well, you got scolded in their language. But you kind of knew from the voice and their body language that you was in trouble. 